Hello, everyone. Welcome on in. Wait just a second here, see if we have any more folks trickle in. I hope everyone's doing good today. If you want to hop in the chat, let me know where you're watching from. I'd love to hear it. Go ahead and get started and we'll let uh, folks trickle in. Okay. Well, hello everyone and welcome to another Jackrabbit Care webinar. We're very excited you could join us today as we cover digital tools to leverage for your business. Uh, as you may know, Jackrabbit Care is an all in one child care management software built for speed, ease of use, and the growth of your child care centers. We're excited to offer these webinars to you as a way of committing to our community and providing resources for success for all of you. So let me go ahead and share this. Mill Creek, Houston, Texas. Welcome, welcome. Awesome. There we go. Okay. So, uh, my name is Mason. Uh, I am the content marketer here at Jackrabbit, part of our marketing team, and I will be your host today. Uh, if you were here for our last webinar marketing, uh, our last webinar marketing tips to grow your childcare business, I want to welcome you back. And if this is your first time attending or watching one of these, welcome in. We're very excited to have you here. Um, and before we get started, as a reminder, uh, I want to let you know that this webinar will be recorded and available on demand. So you can come back at any time and reference it. Uh, we should have that uploaded and available soon. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep an eye on our socials for updates. We'll also send out a link directly to our live viewers so you'll get access sent right to your inbox. Um, and a little housekeeping. If you have any questions along the way, please feel free to drop them in the chat uh, while they're still fresh in your mind or you can hang on to them until the end. We're gonna have a dedicated section uh, at the very end where you can uh, ask any questions and we'll answer them for you. Uh, we will have someone in the chat trying to answer as we go along too, so you can do either way, whichever you prefer. Uh, also, I'm gonna mention some product names uh, as examples for this particular webinar. If you have any further questions on those products, I would encourage you to check out their websites uh, for specifics on use cases and features and pricing. Uh, with that, let's get started. Um, so we got our topics here today. Uh, we're going to go over some tools to help with uh, marketing, uh, boosting professionalism. We're going to call that utilizing the basics. Uh, we're going to move on to book more tours, meet new friends. Uh, we're going to touch on lead management and CRM or customer relationship management. And then finally, we will round it out with uh, setting uh, accounts up for success It'll to be mostly front office focused. So we'll get right into it here. There we go. All right, utilizing basics. So for our first section here, I want to focus on some basic tools that are easy to approach. Uh, and ideally, these will help you boost your child care center's image and lead you to create new connections. Uh, we all want to put our best foot forward when appearing to and meeting prospective clients and taking the steps to follow through and making sure parents have a stellar experience from start to finish will have amazing benefits for your center in the long term. Our first set of programs is from Google. They are a part of Google Workspace. And Google Workspace is a fantastic resource that can be used almost every day. Some of you may be more familiar with the Microsoft Office suite and programs like Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, but these are the Google equivalents. And the best part is, since they're web-based, they also make it very easy to share files and documents and presentations uh, via Google Drive, which is an online storage space. Uh, it makes it really easy to get stuff to anyone who needs it in your child care center. And if you're not utilizing this, I recommend it. Uh, it's a really great service. Um, this also is a good time to, uh, oh, pardon me, I'm gonna head there, touch on Google Analytics. Um, if you aren't familiar with this one, Google Analytics is essentially a service that tracks website traffic. Uh, you can take that data and start making some decisions that can benefit your website and in turn your business uh, 
overall. Uh, for example, you can see how long visitors stay on each page of your website and what links they're clicking. And then you can use that to help decide whether or not your site needs improvement and what areas you really need to focus on. I, I do want to mention that Google Analytics has a free version. There's a paid version and a free version. The free version has plenty of capabilities, um, really a lot of stuff that to get you started and probably carry you, carry you through for uh, quite a while. It can be overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff in Google Analytics, so take it slow at first if you hop in there. But if you haven't explored it, uh, this is a great time to start. In the long term, Google Analytics can offer you some very valuable insights on your website. OK, uh, next tool I want to talk about is Gmail. Uh, I am sure you are all familiar with Gmail. And I'm not here to sell you on the concept of email. Uh, I want to focus on a very specific feature that they offer that you can all take advantage of. Uh, that is a custom email domain. Um, this is a small but very effective way to put your best foot forward. Um, and that way any parents or guardians that are signing up their kids at your center will, will really get a great uh, feel for your center right at the front. So as an example, you know, why would I need a custom email domain? Let's say I work at the imaginary Jackrabbit childcare, which is not that different from the real deal, but um, is it going to look better for me to have my email as mason at gmail.com or mason at jackrabbitchildcare.com? If you're trying to represent your business, the custom email domain is really going to help you stand out. Uh, you can even set up group email addresses. Um, so you could do like welcome at jackrabbitchildcare.com um, or you know something like that and just point folks there and then that way you get everyone where they need to be. Uh, now for the final part of this section, I want to offer uh, one, one last tip, and that is to set up a vanity number through Google Voice and consider using an automated phone service. This is going to allow parents to call and get the right person on the line for any questions they have without being placed on hold for unnecessary amounts of time. Nobody really likes that. <laughs> uh, it also makes things easier for your front desk staff. A vanity number, on the other hand, is going to just boost your image again. Google Voice allows you to pick a new phone number and route it to your phone, to your tablet, or your computer, uh, which means depending on the availability of the number you want to use, you can come up with a catchy, easy to remember number, uh, and maybe even get one that spells out part of your center's name. Uh, Google Voice can also transcribe voicemails. So you can prepare any information that you need to uh, for your response. And it just adds a nice layer of utility to your phone service, your center. So key takeaways from this section, uh, utilize Google Suite, stand out with your own email domain, uh, measure your website success with Google Analytics, and finally, uh, consider creating a vanity phone number and automating your phone system. So we will move on to our next section here. Uh, book more tours, meet new friends. Uh, in this section, I want to talk about tools that go a little bit deeper and focus on your leads and signups and the relationship you have uh, with the parents at your child care center. Where the first part was mainly looking at ways to get parents interested, this section is more about getting that interest turn it, to turn into an actual registration. So our first stop is at lead management. Uh, it can be difficult and overwhelming to keep track of every single person that may want to sign their child up for your child care center. And that's why, like so many other things in your business, it's much easier to get a little automated help. Uh, a program like IntelliKids Lead Management System is a great way to streamline the process. It gives you the ability to boost your enrollments by capturing information on possible clients. And then with a little effort on uh, you and your staff's part, uh, you can engage with them and monitor and nurture their journey from a first-time caller, uh, turning them into a long-time customer. Uh, it does this specifically through methods like recording phone calls. You use that for training purposes or reference for information you might have missed or forgot. Uh, they also offer response templates and uh, help keep prospective clients organized for you. Email automation. Uh, it's another great example. Uh, of a digital tool you can utilize. Um, it's a great follow-up to setting up your domain name 
in Gmail, like I mentioned earlier, uh, taking advantage of an email automation tool like MailChimp, for example, frees you up uh, to get new leads to the right place quicker with a response you can set and forget. You can set up automation to deliver a helpful response filled with whatever details you need to get them started in the process and then follow up the next chance you get. This is a great way for a parent uh, that may not work the traditional nine to five to get in contact with your center. They can get started and MailChimp would deliver a response to them no matter what time they decide to sign up for your mailing list, day or night. Uh, MailChimp is also a great CRM. Uh, it allows you to segment and tag contacts and that helps you keep track of mailing lists and target certain people with certain emails. They also generate audience reports so you can see what works with your marketing and what needs to change along the way. Um, and building on email automation, scheduling automation can be another step in the right direction. A calendar and scheduling tool like Calendly, Calendly <laughs> a little bit of a tongue twister on that one, uh, Calendly can make the process of scheduling tours of your center worlds easier than the back and forth that can occur in a conversation. You can make sure interested parents and guardians are met with a speedy response and a list of options they can choose from to come tour your facility or any other in-person meetings you need to set up with them. Uh, schedule, scheduling automation tools like Calendly also have the added benefit of featuring email integration, uh, which is to say you can serve them clickable appointment links uh, right in an email. So they can just pick the one that works best for them and you can go from there. And actually, before we move on, I do want to mention that these tools, I, they're not meant to do away with human interaction. None of these suggestions are. Uh, I just think one of the best ways to leverage your center is by offering great customer service. And when every step of the process becomes that much easier, faster, and more efficient, uh, the customer service portion is going to go right along with it, become that much better. So uh, that leads us to review managers. So Say you started leaning into automation and things are running smoother than ever. Uh, it might be time to look at a review manager to ensure that you're not only getting the best reviews, but the best quality reviews and putting them in front of the eyes of even more possible clients. A review tool like Sotellus gives us uh, the choice of review medium. And that's like whether they want to do an audio review, a text review, or even video, which is fantastic. Uh, they take that review and they work to get it to the top of search results and post it to social media. So aside from asking your parents to click a link or follow a quick QR code, you can be hands off while the program does the hard part. And if you're anything like me, when I need a certain product or service, I immediately go to Google, check out any reviews and then make the call. Uh, a review manager makes it easy to stay one step ahead of all that and make sure your best reviews are your most visible. Speaking of QR codes, uh, this is another easy one. Everyone has a smartphone now, which means if you need a specific link shared with a potential enrollment, uh, QR codes are a great way to go about it. Uh, you just point your camera, click, uh, and you're there. I've got one here on the screen. You're more than welcome to try. This is really good for flyers and pamphlets if you're doing physical media at the Child Care Center. Uh, making sure there is at least one QR code on there linking to your website is a must. It removes the extra step of typing in a website address. It's just point, click, and done. That easy. So let's recap here. Uh, our key takeaways for this section. Uh, don't miss out on possible signups. Utilize a lead management software. Uh, email automation makes sure potential clients get a timely response filled with the info that they need. A calendar slash scheduling automation subscription can streamline communication and tour planning for you. Put your best foot forward with a review management program and make getting to your site that much easier with QR codes. All right. There we go. Okay. So front office management, setting accounts up for success. This is really the heart of the business aspect of any child care center. You can get as many registrations as you like, but if parents come in and the inner workings of your office are slow or inefficient, it's going to show really easily and reflect poorly. 
And this is where management software comes in handy. From student and staff scheduling to vaccination records and billing, having a management system that can handle it all will make every aspect of your front office run smoother. So let's take a look at some features you are going to want to look for in a childcare management software. Uh, for starters, enrollments and wait lists. You need an enrollment service and uh, automatic wait lists for families uh, that want to use your center, but are maybe signing up late or signing up in a busy season. Uh, that way they know, they're aware, they know when they can get in. Uh, tuition and billing features, like the ability to send invoices, automate your tuition postings, create custom billing profiles per family. It's those little details that, that count. Um, you can rise above competition when you utilize a convenient mobile app that they can download on their phones. You can use it for communication, updates on their children, billing, photos. It's a great way to help parents feel involved and informed and help boost your centers or use. Uh, allergy and immunization records. Um, I mean, this way you can track allergy uh, and again, immunization in a dedicated section so you can reference it quickly uh, and have it ready for safety and compliance. Uh, this is a big one, uh, attendance and ratio management. You can know who is where at your child care center at a moment's notice uh, with real time child and staff tracking um, and child to teacher ratio management. And finally, uh, one of the most convenient ways to keep your lobby free of lines and congestion is a check in and check out kiosk availability uh, so you can accurately track students and staff for optimal safety and uh, convenience and historical record keeping. So that is a tall order of features, and it might seem like a lot to find in one package. Uh, luckily, I do know of a pretty amazing all-in-one management software that does include all of these features. I don't know if there's any guesses, but uh, it is Jackrabbit Care. Um, Jackrabbit Care offers all these features, and it is just a really great way to set your child care center up for success. So. Whether or not Jackrabbit Care is the perfect child care management software for you, uh, I feel like this section has one main takeaway, and that is to utilize a child care management software. It can really make a huge difference at your center and save you and your staff the trouble of keeping all your records on paper and all of the headaches that come with that. With that, we are at the end of our presentation portion of the webinar here. So I wanna use the last few minutes to turn it over to you all and take a few questions. If there's anything you wanna know a little bit more about or if you missed the name of a product, feel free to drop them in the uh, chat here and uh, ask away. We had one question come in um, through the back Q&A. Um, one was related to QR codes. Is there a certain platform that you use for QR codes? Okay, yes. Yeah, that is a great question. Um, there are multiple services you can use uh, for QR codes. Um, they're all pretty straightforward. I personally, the one you saw a few slides back, uh, I generated it in Canva which is actually another really great resource. Um, you can design handouts and pamphlets, uh, a lot of really good for physical media. Um, and theirs is specifically uh, very easy to use. You drop the link in, it comes up with a QR code. Awesome, yes, gotta love Canva. <laughs> I think we have one from Ruth in the public chat. We offer an accounts payable module that's a good question, Ruth. I actually don't know uh, about that feature as far as the future goes, but I would, um, we're gonna have a, a link here in just a second. Um, and I'd recommend reaching out to our team there. They might actually have a little bit of a better idea about the roadmap of uh, an accounts payable module.
I will get that dropped in the chat while I do. We did have a question about <laughs> Google Analytics and I can feel. Um, we tried Google Analytics, but it's too confusing. Any, con any suggestions for getting started? Yes. Um, so Google Analytics is a lot. There are a lot of features. There's a lot of very, very tiny, minuscule bits of information you can track. Um, it can it can be confusing. Uh, I, I'm still learning parts of Google Analytics, uh, but what I would recommend, uh, I think, would be to figure out what information um, you want to find, and then from there work backwards. Um, Google Analytics offers a really uh, great uh, YouTube channel that is just help videos and step-by-step -step instructions. I use that for a lot of stuff. Um, I know members of our team do. It's really helpful. It's a really great resource. Uh, is there a way to do time clock for staff? The uh, check-in, check-out kiosk, uh, I believe, has staff capabilities. You're correct there uh, with okay. staff. Yeah. So it is, it's all in one. You can use it for either. Parents can come in, check in their kiddo. Uh, if you want to use it for staff, uh, either way, whatever works best for you or both. Tanya, I dropped the link to um, connect, to schedule a call with Jackrabbit Care support staff in the chat as well. If you have any additional questions about how the check-in, check-out can be used for staff too, I would recommend talking to our implementation team about that because they're excellent. Mason, Mason, we had yes. one more come in, and this is about vanity phone numbers, which is something that I always forget about, and I'm, I'm glad that you brought it up. What if you can't get the vanity phone number that you want? Is there a way to is there a way to get around that? We just have to deal with it. I think. Well, I know Google Voice does offer a, a generation service. Um, now, if it's not specifically the one you want, I. I know it's a tip, but at the very same time, it is just a tip. So if, if you can't get the one you want, I think just focus on the things you can change and the uh, software and programs that are really going to help your business uh, grow. If it ends up being a couple random numbers, um, I think your awesome customer service and uh, childcare is going to shine past that and your great reviews. So um, not essential. There are benefits to it, but if you can't make it happen, I don't think it's the end of the world. That's great. Um, I'm going to take that piece of advice into other aspects of my day to day also. Um, I don't see any other questions coming in through um, the back end questions. I don't see anything else in the chat. So I we can wait a couple more seconds. And wrap up. Yeah, absolutely. And like Molly said, uh, with that link there, our team would be more than happy to run you through the, the basics and, and how everything works, uh, Jackrabbit Care and the, the clock in feature. Um, if that is all the questions, uh, let me bring it to our final slide. I think that is gonna be it for us today. I wanna thank each and every one of you for setting aside a little time to spend with us. Uh, and I hope you all got a little useful information today. Um, if you'd like to learn more about Jackrabbit Care, we'd love to speak with you about how we can help you streamline your business um, with our child care management software. So you can click the link in the uh, chat there or scan the QR code uh, and you can schedule a call with one of our team experts. So uh, once again, I want to thank you all for your time today. And we hope you've been able to pick up a few tips you didn't already know and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us, everybody.